Hey everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the fails, faves and what I read in the month of December. I'm going to start off with the fails and the first one is an eyeshadow palette. So a while ago a viewer named Cindy sent me this palette, so thank you Cindy. This is a Wet n Wild palette called just Studio Eyeshadow Palette. And as you can see I've used some of the colours up completely. I absolutely love this palette. I found it so handy to take with me when I was traveling because it's got um, a black that I was using as an eyeliner. It's got a brow color, this color, and this color. As you can see, I've used up completely. This was like a crease color, and this was a shimmery, like rose gold color. And I wanted to replace those two colors because obviously I didn't have them anymore. So I found this Wet n Wild palette. And I thought, oh, that looks right. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Nude Awakening palette. And I thought that this color and this color were dupes of those two shades that I'd used up. This palette was a huge disappointment. So, okay, first let me tip out any loose product. So, I do use this as like a crease color. It is lighter than the one that was in the other palette it's fine though it doesn't have a huge payoff but the other colors they've got very little color payoff and they just drop like chunky glitter all under my eye and it's not it's not like i can just brush it off or like i've got a fan brush that i will kind of flick any loose powder that falls like if i'm using a powder for a liner and some of it falls on my cheek i can usually just take my fan brush and flick it off this stuff just sticks on like I have to actually go and take my cellar water and like remove it like makeup and even that it's a job to remove it I don't know what is in it but you can see how little I've used of it I mean I got this back in October and what a disappointment because I thought oh I could use that color that color that color yeah I thought all, all three of those and this color as well I would get the most use up, use out of but I would actually use all of these colors and it's just horrible and it's so frustrating because it's the same brand so I expected the same quality. Like these shadows, they have such great color payoff and they're kind of creamy and they're just amazing. This chalky, glittery, dusty, just really disappointing. I will use up um, this um, transition color. It is a nice color and it's nice for when I do like a subtle everyday, like no makeup makeup look, but I literally cannot even use these because of it doesn't matter how much I knock off any excess off the brush or how I apply it or just awful and I just I cannot be doing with that kind of fallout it just annoys me so much even like when I think I've got away with it then I'll kind of do my liner and go to do my mascara and then I'll see it and it's fallen down later and I don't know how it does it but I'm done I'm done with those glittery shadows like they don't even look glittery in pan they look shimmery like that's not glittery is it you wouldn't look at that and go, oh, that's a glitter eyeshadow. But, I mean, I don't know. Disappointing. Anyway, that's my fail for the month. Moving on to faves. I've now started splitting my faves up into food items, home items, and then beauty or fashion items. Because you guys know I always have to talk about food. So I do have a few food items. And the first is the Raglan Coconut Yogurt. I didn't buy coconut yogurt for the longest time. As you guys know, I don't eat dairy, and I just kind of, there was something about coconut yogurt that I was like, mm, it just, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. And some of them have a lot of thickeners and stabilizers and junk in it, so it took me a long time to try. And then eventually I tried the Raglan. I was like legit nervous to taste it. It is so good. It is so delicious. And I don't know why it's taken me so long to try it. I enjoy eating it with berries, either fresh strawberries out of the garden or raspberries or blueberries. Very delicious. Just a quick snack and just surprised me, I guess. And I just really enjoy it. And I've also tried this one, the Cathedral Cove. I've got this one because Pack and Save doesn't have the Raglan. Grant and I prefer the Raglan. We get the vanilla one. This one is the Blueberry and Chia. And then there's also a vanilla and chia, I think. Yeah, this is nice and it is, it's super clean. Like the ingredients are literally coconut cream, blueberry, pineapple juice, coconut nectar, white chia seeds, lemon juice, probiotic cultures. So there's no stabilizers, thickeners, additives, but 
we do enjoy the raglan one more. I think that's also pretty clean in the ingredients department. But yeah, coconut yogurt. Who knew? Slightly less healthy. A while ago, I talked about the leader brand Golden Crunch Biscuits, I think. So they are gluten-free cookies that I can actually eat because a lot of gluten-free products have potato and or maize starch in them and I can't eat those things. So Lida also does chocolate chip cookies and arrowroot biscuits which taste like shortbread. So as you can see, I've been dipping into these. So delicious. Definitely wanted to mention those as a favorite because they do more than just the butter crunch cookies and highly recommend them. They are super tasty. Another treat that I've been enjoying is Vitasoy almond chocolate milk. So this is something that I can grab if we're out and about for a treat. So the other day, my friend Monica and I went for a bit of a hike. We had a two hour hike in the heat and we wanted to stop for ice cream on the way home. And we stopped at Inglewood at the dairy free ice cream place that's there, but they weren't open because they only open from Friday to Sunday. So we popped next door to New World and I could grab the Vitasoy almond chocolate milk. So it kind of hit the spot that an ice cream would have. And it's just nice to be able to have it as a treat now and again. I do make my own chocolate milk at home with either almond milk or a mix of almond and coconut milk and cocoa powder and vanilla and whatever. But it's just, it's nice to be able to grab something when I'm out and about and enjoy it as a treat and be able to actually drink it. It's dairy free and it doesn't have a whole lot of crap in it. Another food item that I've been particularly enjoying lately is this hummus. It is so tasty. I either have it with rice crackers or with carrot sticks. So this is a really good one. It comes in a nice big tub and I just think it's really tasty. And nobody else in my family enjoys hummus, so it's all for me. And then on the way less healthy side, do you know that Magnum ice cream now comes in a dairy-free version? So I picked some of this up to try and I was pleasantly surprised the chocolate part is not as good as the regular chocolate part on a magnum but the ice cream part i would say might even be better so so tasty they are expensive it's about six or seven dollars for three but it's nice to have as a treat in the freezer for you know if we're entertaining and everyone's having dessert and i can't eat the dessert i can whip one of these out or just now and again in the summer to be able to have an ice cream when usually I wouldn't be able to. So I do recommend them, they are tasty. I've tried the almond version and the plain version. Okay, I've got nothing for home and as far as body and beauty, I do have a perfume I want to share. So I've been trying to reduce artificial fragrance and the load on my liver basically. I've been trying to cut down on chemicals and things like that but I do enjoy perfume now and again and I feel like if I'm mostly taking care of my liver then when I enjoy perfume, it's kind of less of a demand than if I was placing a load on my liver all of the time. So I do enjoy perfume and I was looking for a new perfume and I tried this out when I was visiting Amanda up in Auckland and I got in the car and it kind of settled on my skin and she was like, you have got to buy that perfume. It smells so delicious. So I did. So buy Jimmy Choo, probably the only Jimmy Choo thing I'll ever own. And it is called Floral, I think. It's just fresh and light and sophisticated and it's just divine. And on me in particular, it settles really well and I absolutely love it. It smells so good. In fact, I'm gonna have another whiff. I don't wanna spray it on me because I'm just kind of at home today and I don't wanna wear perfume just for the sake of it because of the liver load thing. But if you're looking for a sophisticated, light, fresh, clean scent, definitely check this one out. It is beautiful. Okay, I'm now gonna tell you about something that has completely blown my mind and I am legit obsessed with. And you're gonna be hearing a lot about this going forward on my channel. Have you guys ever heard of Dressing Your Truth? I heard about this through a YouTube channel that I'm gonna talk about later. And I was like, what is this? So basically, Dressing Your Truth is a way of dressing for your energy style. So <laughs> this is gonna sound all a little bit woo-woo slightly and you know I love the woo-woo stuff so just like stay with me now. So there's an energy healer called Carol Tuttle and she has a book called It's Just My Nature and in it she describes how people are generally one of four energy types. We are all made up of all of these energy types but one will be predominant. It's less about personality although it can express in your personality and it's more about your nature and how you're actually made and it will actually manifest in your physical features and if you 
live and dress true to your energy type you are going to feel better you're going to look better you're going to come across more effectively you are going to look less aged your skin will look better so the four energy types are basically type one is bright animated kind of energy and type two is soft and subtle type three is bold and dynamic and type four is bold and striking and when you are dressing to your truth it's not about these colors will look good on you like the color me beautiful system that was around and like really popular in the 80s and 90s this is more about five design elements that go into your clothing so it'll be design lines color texture pattern and fabrication and if you choose the ones that are correct for your energy type it will make a huge difference and I have been obsessed with watching these videos she has a YouTube channel I will link everything down below and in these videos you can see the difference it makes so she will often have women come on in the confirm my type videos where they'll say I think I'm a type such and such and I've been dressing like that but I'm just not feeling it and she'll say no you're actually a type whatever and she'll point out on their physical features why she knows or how she knows that they are that type and then she'll give them a makeover dressing true to that type and it is crazy when they are dressed true to their type these women's ages disappear their weight disappears you just see them instead of seeing their clothes or seeing their outfit so carol tuttle is the presenter and the person who like the author of the book and who kind of came up with the system so she is a type three and she filmed a video in which she dressed the same as a type one woman with the type one woman sitting there and same with a type two woman and a type four woman and you see the difference it makes it is crazy how much of a difference it makes she looks so like manly in one of the types she looks really mean when she's dressed in a different style she looks just really old it makes such a huge difference she also has another video where she has a type one woman a type two woman type three and type four and then they each wear each other's outfits like they'll all wear the type one woman's outfit and type two etc and you'll see the difference it makes to how they look and how they feel it's crazy so absolutely been loving that i'm a type two in case you're wondering every time i thought am i type two there'll be something else that just confirms that i'm 100 percent a type two so there is a free course that you can do online talking about all of this where you can find out your type and find out about the design elements in clothes and what to look for and how to dress and how to kind of I guess live in your energy and that's really really interesting but I kind of wanted a bit more so between that and the YouTube videos I was like this is not enough so I paid for the like style kit it was about $60 US and in there you get color cards pattern cards you get access to the Facebook group for your type you get the ebook the audio book for the it's just my nature books that this is all based on so I'm still waiting for that to come in the post but I've had a bit of a wardrobe overhaul I've packed some things away I've cleared out some things and I know I'm going to get people saying like I don't want to be told what I can and can't wear and this is just something that I'm really enjoying and really into you don't have to follow it if you're not into it you're not into it the colors and styles and things can suit any style of clothing so for instance I'm a type 2 but I could dress casual or I could dress corporate or I could dress kind of really romantic or it doesn't matter what my actual style is if I follow the design principles into my style then it's going to work for me so anyway I've really really been enjoying it and I would love to know if any of you have heard of this have you been dressing your truth like what's your experience been like I've never heard anything like this before and it resonated so hard with me and I'm just enjoying it so so much like I said, this is not the last you will hear about it on my channel. I will definitely be making more videos about my experience and kind of transitioning into my type 2 style. And I am going to do a haul and I'm also going to do a video showing how I've refashioned some of the things I have to suit the type 2 style. Apparently only type 4s can really carry off black. It's just too heavy for the other types. And so getting rid of some of my black things, not ready to get rid of some of my black things and just packing them away for now. But I have been dressing true to my style and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm enjoying it so much. So definitely check it out. I will link everything down below, like I said, and a bunch of the videos that I've talked about and the ones I've particularly enjoyed. So, so interesting and just like riveting to watch these makeovers and to hear the principles behind it. And it's all about knowing yourself, loving and accepting yourself. And like that is a message I can get behind. 
Okay, moving on to entertainment, which is pretty much all YouTube channels. The first one I wanted to mention is Bobby Copy. So I don't even know how I found her channel, but I really, really enjoy her personality, her style, the way she presents herself, the way she kind of comes across in her videos. I've really been enjoying her videos. I think she recommended Diane in Denmark. I'm not sure if that's where I heard about her channel, but I've also been enjoying Diane in Denmark's channel. She used to be a fly lady mentor, so she kind of talks a lot about fly lady routines and the getting it done system and that kind of thing, but it's on her channel that I heard about dressing your truth. She's a type one, and I've so been enjoying her videos, especially her kind of clothes makeover videos and where she talks about dressing her truth and she does clothes swap parties and like the things that she comes out with from those. So I've been enjoying her videos. I also discovered the channel Wheezy Waiter. It is so quirky and different, but I really like the information that he presents. He's got like a really weird style of presenting. He puts in funny clips of his parents that are kind of caricatures and just really different, but I enjoy him and his wife and the topics that they cover. Like they'll do 30 days of meditation or 30 days of going vegan or 30 days of whatever and you know kind of share the experience but he talks to experts as well so that's really interesting and i enjoy his channel it's very entertaining and then i've also been enjoying the daily connoisseur so jennifer is somebody who spent some time in paris in her youth and she learned a lot of things there about style and being presentable and that's kind of what all her videos are about and i enjoy her um, enjoy her message i don't agree with everything she says but i really enjoy her concept of the 10 item wardrobe she did a ted talk on that which i will also link down below so yeah i've been enjoying her channel and then moving on to books i will share here the books that i read in december i read quite a few i finished this jack reacher book the midnight line i do love me a jack reacher as you guys know and i enjoyed this one too I finished reading Amethyst by Lorraine Snelling. It's in the Dakota Treasures series of books and it was the last one and I absolutely love Lorraine Snelling's books and enjoyed this one too. As you can see I read it as an ebook through the Overdrive app. I just get the books from my library. You may see a theme this month. I've been trying to continue with series that I started ages ago and finish some of them. This is a book in the Detective Alice Quentin series I think. Anyway, it's a mystery, a murder mystery and I would recommend it. I finished Sand Piper Cove. This is one of the Hope Harbour novels. They are each standalone books although the characters do kind of cross over from one to the other. I really enjoyed this. It's just kind of soothing, comforting, it's a romance but I did enjoy it. I would recommend it. I finished The Miracle at Speedy Motors by Alexander McCall Smith. This is one of the number one ladies detective agency books. I absolutely love his books. He just has this really unique way of writing that just captures human nature so well. And it's kind of like he's laughing at people, but he's laughing with people. It's with great affection. It's very hard to describe, but he has such a distinct style and I really, really enjoy it. I think I skipped out on a couple of books in this series because the library didn't have it and it wasn't available through the Overdrive app either, but I didn't really miss out on anything and I enjoyed this one. I would recommend this particular series to anyone who is from South Africa or Southern Africa. Really enjoyable. I read Lessons from Madame Chic by Jennifer L. Scott. I talked about the videos that I've been watching on her channel. This didn't really tell me anything that her videos didn't, but I enjoyed reading it in her words and reading about her experiences and although I don't agree with everything she says I do think she makes some valid points so yeah it was a good read it was an easy read I would recommend I read it's just my nature which is the one about dressing your truth I won't go into it here I think I've banged on about it long enough highly worth a read whether or not you're interested in dressing your truth this is not so much about the clothing and dressing side of it as understanding your actual nature and knowing which type you are so very interesting as you can see i read it as an ebook on my computer i also have the audiobook and if my style kit ever arrives i've got the paperback coming so i can kind of pass that on to friends so that's all for my fails faves and what i read in the month of december i would love to know if you guys have heard of dressing your truth please share your experiences down below because like I said, I'm obsessed with it. Or if there's anything else that you've been particularly enjoying, then let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.